Warren Buffett, known as the Oracle of Omaha, the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, and one of the most successful investors, explains and talks about Tesla. All alternatives have a future, that they are the future over time, but you can't change the world, the base of the world. I mean, you've got 260 million vehicles on the road or whatever number it is in the United States, and I don't know how many around the world, and they're not changing what they use tomorrow. <laughs> you know, the average age of the American vehicle, the auto, I think is 11 to 12 years, something like that. The world can't change dramatically. Anybody thinks you can change energy sources 10% of a year, it, it, it just doesn't work that way. But the world is going in the right direction in terms of working toward minimization of carbon. But before we take a look into Warren Buffett's remarks about Tesla, this is Fred, and welcome to Investing Wise Academy. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to be updated for more upcoming videos like this. Speaking of those cars, I mean, look at Tesla and what Elon Musk is doing. I mean, yeah. that kind of is a revolution, right? Well, it's, it's an important change, but if you guessed on the penetration of electric cars, let's say we say so 17 million or something a year in, in 2030 when I'll be 100, and I would say that I'd be surprised if more than a third of those would be electric. Well, that's two thirds of the art plus all the ones. In, so of the total vehicles on the road, it still might be 10% electric tops or something like that worldwide. I mean, you can't change this mass of transportation. You can't change it in here. It is changing and should change. But, but in terms of just the math of replacing, if, if we said we're going to junk all the cars we have, well, you know, the economy would stop. I mean, we can't produce them. We couldn't replace them. What do you think of Elon Musk, though? If you met him, and would you invest in Tesla? <laughs> well, I think you're trying to bait me a little bit. I don't know. I'm just asking you. <laughs> yes, Listen, yes, he's yes. done some remarkable things. Okay. He's done some remarkable things. Have and, you met him? Oh, yeah. He's, he, uh, he joined the Giving Pledge uh, some years ago. That, I've only met him once or twice, but, but uh, uh, yeah, that's it. I've, I've talked with him, but not for quite a while. And before Warren Buffett continues, if you want to support this channel more, you could join our membership program and try our super thanks, wherein your comments will be highlighted. Elon Musk says that Tesla will start to offer insurance for its cars and can price it better than a typical insurance company because of the data it collects from all the vehicles on the road. You've talked about the threat of autonomous vehicles on the insurance business, but what about the threat to Geico of automobile companies themselves getting into the insurance business? And on a very similar topic, Tesla recently announced that they're shifting to an online-only sales model, and several traditional auto dealerships are also reducing their property holdings as car buyers increasingly use smartphones and the internet to shop for cars. What does this portend for Berkshire Hathaway Automotive? Warren Buffett answered this by saying General Motors had a company for a long time called the Motors Insurance Company, and various companies have tried it. He said that the success of the insurance company of the auto companies getting an insurance business is probably about as likely as the success of the insurance companies getting into the auto business. He stated that he worries much more about progress than all of the auto company possibilities and that he can see in terms of getting insurance business. It's not an easy business at all, and he would bet against any company in the auto business kind of unusual success. He believes that the idea of using telematics in studying people's driver's habits is spreading quite widely, and it is important to have data on how people drive, how hard they brake, and how much they swerve all kinds of things. So he doesn't doubt the value of the data, but he doesn't think that auto companies will have any advantage over that. He thinks they'll make money in the insurance business, and using the internet to shop for cars is like using the internet for shopping for everything. It's another competitor, and there's no question that people will look for better ways. Now, the gross margin on new cars is about 6% or thereabouts, so there's not a lot of room in the game. But that's a method and that will sell some cars. And it's another competitor. 
but he doesn't think it destroys the auto dealer who takes good care of the customers and is there to serve the customers. It's not an overwhelming threat, but it's something that's going to be around and will sell some cars. Well, if you look at the leading candy bars, for example, for the last 50 years, I think you'll find Snickers on top, and then you got M&Ms, you got two types, so they don't combine the penis with the, the, the other ones, but I think they're number two and four, and you know, uh, Hershey's in there, number three, or something of the sort. I can't take them on. I don't, th <laughs> I don't think Eli should take them on. You know, <laughs> they have moats. When you go into a, a drugstore, a 7-Eleven or something, and you say, I would like a Snickers bar, and the owner says, oh, I've got something, the musk bar, at, at, at 10 cents off the Snickers bar. You say, give me the Snickers. And if he doesn't give you the Snickers, you go across the street and buy the Snickers. Uh, brands are moats, I mean, obviously. And, and this product is selling to hundreds of millions of people who want Coca-Cola. If you say, I'll sell you something for two cents less, or I've got some celebrity's name on it. They actually, uh, Richard Branson tried Virgin Cola in the United States about 15 or 20 years ago. Uh, and a million others have been tried. So I don't really have the same urge to produce automobiles that he apparently has to <laughs> produce candy, but I don't, I don't suggest that he take on Snickers. You're taking me literally and stepping away from the real story here, which is kind of this war of words between you and Charlie and Elon. And I just want, do you even know Elon Musk? I've, I've, never, I've never said anything negative about Elon. I mean, you're, you're baiting me a little bit to do it. But, I am. But, uh, but <laughs> people like his car and everything. But somebody mentioned that now he's talking about financing. Uh, something this morning about that. I, 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 just, I thought I heard that earlier. Yes, bit. well, actually, Warren, uh, Andrew just read some headlines where it looked like they may be, Tesla may be going back to market to pick up some additional financing. I'm not entirely sure. Well, all, I heard what, was the, all I heard was the headline. That's what I call a counter revelation. I mean, Charlie, you know, because I think it was just a few days ago they said they wouldn't need financing. But he's trying something to improve a, a product. And I, I salute him for that. And the American public will decide whether it's a success. And it's not easy. It's probably easier to develop a new car than to compete with stickers. Uh, but some products have terrific boats. You know, probably Elmer's Glue does, you know, WD-40. I mean, there, you can, there's just certain things that you are not in, much inclined to be dissatisfied with and seek. And I would say that, incidentally, that the iPhone, you know, has a terrific moat. I mean, people that have an iPhone, uh, or maybe have some other phone, but they, they want to continue with the product that they've got. They want, they want the new version. It's just easier for them. They, they learn how to do everything, and their life's built around it and all of that. And moats are very useful. Costco has a moat in people's mind. I mean, uh, yeah, Amazon can raise the price of Prime, you know, 20 percent, and you can't do that unless you've built something within that image of the Amazon Prime that's based on reality that you're going to get a lot for your money and you're going to want to use it and then you can raise prices twenty dollars but if you're selling you know if you're selling some commodity product you can't do that you need a moat and that's it thank you for watching if you're new to this channel please subscribe to be updated for more upcoming videos like this and if you like these videos, don't forget to hit the like button, or you might want to check out any other videos on this channel. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.